Yes, sir. Welcome to Wrestling Night in Iowa. I'm Midnight Guthrie alongside the right price Aaron Masterson. This is 3X Wrestling, the top wrestling promotion in the Midwest. Thank you for joining us. And we want to thank the fans that join us at both our June 29th Des Moines event, Downtown Destruction 4, and the great crowd that turned out June 30th in Mingo for Mingo Days. Yeah, no doubt we had some great crowds to both those nights and uh, some great action, too. And looking ahead, July 27th, right here at the Baradas at Forte Center in Des Moines, we have the 3X Wrestling 7th Anniversary event, our biggest event of the year. This is, to quote another wrestling show, our WrestleMania, you could say. You could say that for sure. We always have some of our biggest stars back, the biggest matches possible, and this year, stars are lighting. Yes, we have a very special lineup already in the works as Ring of Honor stars Davey Richards, Kyle O'Reilly, and Tony Cozina will be here in action to get some of 3X Wrestling's best. A full, complete card will be revealed on 3X Wrestling TV in the coming weeks. You can also visit 3xwrestling.com for more information. Well, Aaron, let's get to tonight's matches. I do like tonight's matches. Oh, this is an extra right around us. Oh, what a kick to the spine. Right the spine. Disable striker spine. There's nothing striker can do but lay flat on the mat. Yeah, I mean that, that's called paralysis. It's usually a bad thing. You don't want that. I, I don't. Think, I don't even think Juan wants that to happen to a striker. I mean, your goal here is to pin a man's shoulders. He's a vicious The things we've seen him do to opponents in the past. I know, that's, that's kind of an unfair character. But you know what he wasn't trying to do? He was not trying to paralyze I know Ricky Kwong, he could be a little bit of a, of a jerk, but uh, he's not going to try to paralyze him. Yeah, watch Milan on the outside. I am Come on! Look at that, he's dancing a jig to the crowd. Oh, looks like the referee distracted. Oh, Eric Cannon's just thinking about his PBR sponsorship. He's, he's got other things on his mind. He's a very busy man. He's an important man. He's got things to think about. Eric Cannon is not here. Eric Cannon is still oh, great. Oh, big job. Strikers look back at me. Like Chad Mylon John was a tiny dip in corner of ringside. Why are you there. leaning into a fake microphone? Why do you still lift your arm? Don't be easy. This is why I'm flying here. The rear naked face lock is wide. Just a standard front face lock. That's a rear naked front face lock. Now, got to be careful there. He almost appeared like he was tapping out, but really he was trying to get himself. For the crowd behind him. Now, I know Eric Kane is not an experienced official, but I think he knows I think he knows better than the guy slapping the match right now. Yes, yes, he yes, yes, didn't call, call it. Uh, and kudos to Eric Kane for that. Nice meeting to face by the ball. After a fast start, Ray Stryker is really beginning to punish. Rear naked forearms. Jeez, vicious strike. Oh, yeah. He needed an imprint on the next Ray Stryker. I was giving him a talking to, slapping him right across the face. That's gonna be Bye -bye, striker. That's gotta be embarrassing for a guy like Now that's striker. uncalled for. Ricky Kwong, a decorated competitor, he doesn't need to do things like that. But sometimes these kids need to be put in place, and I think Ray Striker is one of those guys who just needs to slap him. Welcome to business, kid. Last time we saw Ray Striker, it was just a vicious match with Mark Sterling. Look at this, Ray Striker, right in the back. That, that was a match that the entire locker room was gathered around the monitor just watching the feet down from the stage and placing the ring. Right, look at this, Striker getting the upper hand in the striking battle. Oh, Quan's playing boss awesome here. Big elbow there. Oh, sledgehammer blow. A suplex now. And he got him. Cover, smart move. Chad Miley cannot believe what he's seen. It. I think he's just he's in shock that Ray Striker was just imploring the Grinnell crowd to, to cheer for him. We are actually not in Grinnell, Iowa. We're in Grimes tonight. 
Easy mistake to make. Oh, oh look at this! Airplane spin! Fireman's, the fireman's carry, carry into the airplane spin. Wonderful! Clever. Clever. Body slams. Group slam. And here we go, he's checking the pulse! I love this move. Oh, yeah. Modified CPR! Nails him! Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Violet looks absolutely disgusted at the They should. Come on! Come on, get on! Get used to it. Get on! Look at Fire Kick. Oh, the extinguisher. He got him. Oh, come on. Violet. Chad Milan is taking issue with that slam. Exactly he's the referee. Oh, he's doing his job. Violet's digging into his pants. The referee doesn't see it. He's got the nunchucks again. I didn't see any of He just threw the nunchucks at Quang. Oh. Referee. Quang's got the nunchucks. Eric, Eric Cannon is playing playing. Oh! Nailed him right Big in the head. Big chop to the forehead. From Nailed him right in the head. Big chop to the forehead. He does a Mongolian chop. And the race director is out of it. There's no coming back from this. That was, that was just a devastating strike. Yes, sickening. Ray Stryker looked like he was on his way to his first victory here at 3XW. Punched as hard as any man's ever and been. And Chad Milan's such a difference maker. He's inspiration. See, Ray Stryker's out cold. He should just cover the man. This is, just, this is too much. Big elbow drop. I it's like it's just enough for me. One, two, and three. And Ricky Quag gets the victory. Another one up for the MMA, Chad Milan. Absolutely. Is tough to beat. Just good, clean technical wrestling there for Ricky Wong. I love it. Oh, come on. No, enough is enough. Chad Milan's asking for the mic. Then this is enough. Come on. You know, I knew Grimes is full of garbage, but I didn't expect this. You people make me sick. That's a lethal way ocean walk. I don't want to be here. I don't want to see all this trash out here. Come on. Yes! It sounds familiar. Here we go! He mentioned the name. Oh, here he is! The Hall of Famer! The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Right. That's Patty Smith. Patty Smith. Looks like he's still in great shape. Seriously. Because now he's getting in the ring. Violet looks like he's already regretting mentioning his name. Well, DiBiase better watch out, because Ricky Kwong's a lot younger than him and a lot tougher. Ready? Shut up! Yeah. 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 I'd like to, uh, I'd like to take back a few things that I said. Yeah. 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 What I meant to say is that it's a, it's a privilege and an honor to be in front of a giant. Yeah. Yeah. You said enough. One guy. Thank you, Dan. You know, you're like you, all those other little skinny geek managers. All blow and no go. You see, I always put up with guys like you for a little while. And like I've always said, everybody's got a price for the million dollar man. <laughs> but you, you look pretty cheap. Cheap! To it for running your mouth, 
The way I see it, you got one of two choices. One of my two choices, sir! You either take your best shot, or I take mine. And I promise you, one of the two is going to happen. So, so you're supposed to be protecting him, huh? Okay, hold on a second. That's his boyfriend! That's his boyfriend! Bog is not intimidated, I'll give him that. I don't really have to intimidate him either. TBS is a long time away from his prime. Million Dollar Dream! Million Dollar Dream! Ray Striker with a full Nelson on Mylan. This is unbelievable! Look at that! And Quag is going to sleep! This is tremendous! Just like that! Now, will somebody please come get the trash out of the ring and let's get on with this thing! What a great moment there! Quag is out! Oh, look at that striker putting the money in the mouth of Quag. Unbelievable. Oh, when you're one of the all-time greats, you don't lose all your ability to age. It's been a lot of men to sleep with that million-dollar grade, and I imagine maybe putting more in the future. so rudely interrupted I would just like to say what a pleasure it is to be here in Grimes with you uh, you know what I've said this everywhere I go I think that wrestling fans are some of the most loyal fans uh, in the world and uh, my uh, being here as, as, as a result actually of a relationship and a friendship that I uh, have made with uh, Ryan Berger who's the head of uh, Mobile Beat magazine so that's where it all started, and uh, I just want to uh, let everybody know I'm going to be here for the rest of this this evening, tonight, and then tomorrow uh, we're going to be in Boone. I'll be appearing for uh, this organization there, and then Sunday, Sunday evening, I'll be uh, speaking at the local high school uh, again, Ryan. You know. The other guys, they think they know what special means at Godfather's Pizza. We do special, and we do it better. We add the tea. There's a Godfather Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all-meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. Are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw. Plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and The Keg Stand on Facebook and we'll keep you updated. See you at The Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks and great food from Bach Catering. The Ordinary. Oh, wow. We've got the beautiful oh, bodies wow. here in 3X Wrestling. Making their 3X Wrestling debut. Absolutely and great. I have been waiting to see these guys in a 3X W ring for a long time now. These guys are known throughout the Midwest as a top team. And here they are making here's their 3X Wrestling debut. And challenging an open challenge here. from the American Bulldogs. This is very interesting, Gundry. I was not expecting this. You know, the American Bulldogs have been defending the titles against some of these top traveling teams in the Midwest. Battling Kentucky Buffet, that was a great match. Recently, Absolutely. had their issues and still have their issues with Eric Cannon and Darren Corbin. And if they come out on top here tonight, they're offering another open challenge tomorrow night in Boone, Iowa. But this is going to be a really tough test for the American Bulldogs.
Oh, and Cornell took a hell of a fall right there. That could cost him in this match. What happened? He was trying to skip the cat up to the ring and he fell down onto the ground. Not a great way to make your 3X wrestling debut, but you know, it, he does what he does and he appears to be okay. For a couple of beautiful bodies, which that's debatable, I gotta be honest. Hey, that's teamwork! That's teamwork! They, uh, you got to appreciate the fanciest that. towels they found here. That, that must be wherever they're staying at tonight. They went to the hotel, grabbed some towels. They, they took some towels. I uh, think they stayed at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Is that, is that correct? That's a lyric, yes. It's a lyric! Wow, wow, wow. I'm not familiar with the song, but I have heard rumors. Now, help me out here, Guthrie. Why is it we still allow Skyler Pierce to manage these boys? He's a very successful manager. Is he successful? He doesn't manager? get involved in the match. Ha, ha, has he provided? He, he's coming out here with a Pepsi. The man is carrying a Pepsi to the ring. An All-American. How much here. attention can he be paying to his boys if he's drinking a Pepsi while they're in the ring trying to get their thing going? Now, he's a confident manager. I think he can still advise as well having a cola. It's hot out here. I got to say, though, that's not the best idea for hydration. If you want to stay hydrated, you're not drinking a Pepsi. You're not drinking Pepsi. I've been consuming red, some white, Budweiser. Blue. He's drinking Pepsi. I know it's red, white, and blue. It pays, oh, it pays in with their whole color scheme and all. But still, bottled water would be a much better idea right now. A guy the size of Scott Pierce needs I, to stay hydrated I out here. I agree with that. I, I think this probably comes into play later on in the evening. This should be a top up, top notch battle. We may see. Do we have EMTs here on the premises? Uh, Ray Stryker is backstage. Ray Stryker is here, just in case Scott Lepere right. passes yeah, out from the hydrate. We saw the Ball gave him with the nunchucks. Ray Stryker might have had to call in some of his friends just to assist in his medical efforts. I don't know. He got up pretty quickly from that nunchuck attack. Surprisingly quickly. I expected him to be out a little more. Typically with but injuries like that, the adrenaline is still flowing, so you get up right away, but he's going to be feeling I will say I am concerned about Scott Lepere's. Uh, the, the, Risk of dehydration is high in this heat. He is drinking a some water. Then. He's drinking get up a bottle high of water. fructose corn syrup here with that Pepsi instead of bottled water. I see you got two bottles of water here with you. You are staying well hydrated. Yes. Get him a bottle of water. Here, so I am just concerned about his hydration levels. I I I, I, I don't want to make a big scene, but and, and he now he's he's showing off. He's showing off this Pepsi can. But he's going to end up dying of dehydration at yeah, some point. In the it's ring, you see Brian God. Brian God's in the ring. He's already trying to get a psychological He's tossed band. around by Mad Dog McDowell. This team, the beautiful bodies, they're a wild. He's taking comfort in his partner, Derek Cornell. Hey, Cornell is calling for a drug test. I agree. Now, yeah. now I not just steroids. I think you should test Mad Dog Me out for all recreational drugs. I mean, you never know. What? All, I think all competitors here at 3X Wrestling. Wait, should be and everybody has passed all drugs. the drug testing of the active okay. competitors here at 3X I, I was unaware of my drug testing policy. I personally have never been tested. I did not realize we had such a strict wellness policy. I just not like to by some kind of start testing. Nice drop kick there by John West. I am only under the influence of Budweiser, which is not illegal. That is all American. is not into effect. What a high hip toss. He cleared the top rope there. I will tell you that. that was he had to be seven feet in the air. That's illegal. He's got sensitive armpits. On John West with the somersault over the top row. John West nice falling on top of his head. As yeah, here we go, the American Bulldogs. Tried and true, tag team tactics, quick tags in and out. They do a lot of great double team moves. And they've really thrown the beautiful bodies for a loop here. But I'll tell you, I mean, honestly, in 3 X wrestling, they have not recently competed against a tag team with the experience of the beautiful bodies. These guys are coming in here, well-established tag team. We may not have seen oh, them in one of our years. Five years. Absolutely. Uh, these guys are two of the toughest guys on the Iowa independent wrestling scene right now. And, they, and you know, they've recently traveled to Ohio. I know that. They regularly compete in some clubs for back and forth. 
They, they oh, have a that. very yes. high profile. A double butt bump by the oh, American Bulldogs. That's called a butt bump, actually. You can call it a hip attack if you're weird. No, it's called a hip attack. That's, That's called a rear naked hip attack. John West. Over the left arm. Now the that doesn't the They have not gotten anything going here. With a rear naked tag on John West. Derek Cornell looks lost. He's trying to get, figure out what Where are you getting this lost business from, Governor? I mean, not, he looks like he knows get, where he's at. Off some, oh, there you go. Look at that. The tree trunk leg drop misses. Cornell runs into the ring. Did he make a tag? Absolutely. Oh, a what a tag. move. Double it was a hot tag. Elbow. I've never seen it. Robert Gibson would be proud of that hot tag. There was a tag made. Absolutely. And another There's tag. another one. There you go. So if you were concerned about the first tag, the original man's back on. Oh! Knee right to the chest. Now they're getting in the face of John West. Come on, John West! You got to know better than that. I, oh, John West, once again, proving that Come he's on. Just not very bright when it comes to whether or not he should be taken. Oh, God, and Cornell have more experience, more experience in the ring than John West. More years of experience. Now, if you look, Skyler Pierce is no longer carrying a can of Pepsi. So either he has finished this can of Pepsi, or has he, or he has come to some kind of realization as to his hydration issues, and he's decided maybe that's not the best idea. It's just scalding. Look at that! Double suplex by Mad Dog Miguel on both of the bodies. Five Shows pounds, impressive strength there. Just manhandling both guys. John West into the ring with a lariat, a back elbow. elbow. John West, leg lariat. What? He is a house of fire right now. Cornell. But he's probably going to do something stupid because he's John West. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Alive. What a Big old rolling elbow. Taking him out. Knocked the start out of That's a one count, a two count. Jeremy Roth counting slow. Man. Only comes to two. I haven't seen an elbow like that in a long time. Cornell kicking John West directly in the spine. Oh, what a Leaping over and a backside kick to the head. He knocked the mustard out of that crazy hot dog. I tell you what. John West is a crazy hot dog. There's a lot of mustard on that boy, and that mustard was just a move. John West looks Big a little like here, Brown. Man on McDowell. Yeah, similarities. Now look at the Man power. Man McDowell coming in. Double sledgehammer to the chest. God needs to make a tag. Now Cornell is ready. Not even trying to get in the ring. That's smart on his part. A big, big scoop power slam by McDowell. Now Cornell picking his spots. Cornell picking his spots. He's a but smart he guy. His partner take a lot of experience is coming into play here. Oh, throws Cornell hard. Almost hit the uh, ring announcer's table. Skyler Double Pierce Irish again win. doing excellent work outside there. What a move! Wow, oh, that's, that's a new one for us. So that double team Craig Hodges slam, is that what you call him? Variation of sorts, but not Craig with Hodges no sit out. Nice save there by Cornell, who pushed McDowell over onto West. I'm going to call that the Mookie Blaylock. That right there was a spud web kick. Nice and secure there by Brian Gunn. Man, oh, McDowell wow. hit the ground hard. Coming back. What a move! Oh, yeah! Takes it right in the spot. Oh! Paralyzed. Man! John West may be paralyzed right now. That's four or five different strikes and hits. Blue Thunder Bomb. Thunder Bomb. This could be all. Tag team titles could change. No. Oh. Mad Dog Lumbers is right back to the ring. Moves there by Skyler Pierce doing some clapping outside of the ring, helping his team out in a big way. Headbutt on Cornell. The dehydration issues did not take him to the Not too many men hard as Mad Dog McDowell. He's got a big head, he's got a hard head. So this is the clothesline. Oh, God. Terrible timing to try for a cross body right there. What's he going to do here? Oh, oh wow. my slam. Wow. John West, John West, West top. The one's climbing the ropes the right way. Look at this. But now he's turning Look around. What is this idiot doing? Best moonsault of the Midwest right there. Well, I don't know about that, but he, he definitely oh, yeah, it's a phenomenal moonsault. And it gets the victory. What a move and what a win for the American Bulldogs. Uh, a big win here for the American Bulldogs. And I'll tell you, the beautiful bodies impressed me here. I hope to see them back in 3X Wrestling. That was well, certainly they were a very admirable challenger for the Tag Team Championship tonight. That was a great way to debut. Skyler Pierce's complexion is seeming a bit pale right now. He may be dehydrated. We might be on the verge of seeing him pass out in the middle of the night. Oh, that, come on. He looks great. 
what a I, tremendous manager he is. That's three uh, successful title defenses for the American Bulldog. The and now they, they go off the on tomorrow night. Leaders. Another open challenge to a team in the Midwest. Excellent debut for the beautiful bodies here at 3X Wrestling. The bodies aren't feeling too beautiful right now. They're, uh, they're looking beautiful though. I mean, they look good. They look good. They're a little sore. Things happen, you know. You don't win every match. Great to see the crowd here grind. Some of them new to 3X Wrestling. Get 3X Wrestling has events all over Iowa, and we want you there. Experience the on-site action, visit the 3XW store, and meet the wrestlers, including national and regional favorites, TNA wrestlers, WWF and WWE Hall of Famers, NWA champions, and of course the all-stars of 3X Wrestling. Hours of wrestling entertainment for $15 or less. Monthly TV tapings take place at the Baratas at Forte 3XW Coliseum in downtown Des Moines, the fourth Friday of every month, where doors open at 7 and bell time is 7.30. Check out 3XWrestling.com for more details and to sign up and find out when we're coming to your community. 3X Wrestling, you gotta be there.